This is an A2 Pure video on differentiation of implicit functions. Um, so let's take a wee look at this one. Y equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7x plus 1, where y is given explicitly as a function of x. We can find dy by dx. That's nice and straightforward. We differentiate this and we get dy by dx. We differentiate each term then as we go, so it'll be 9x squared minus 4x plus 7 and so on. Consider y and equals x squared and differentiate with respect to y. So instead of differentiate with respect to x, uh, differentiate with respect to y. So that's what we rewrite this. This will seem a wee bit strange, but it'll give me an idea what we're doing. x squared equals y. That gives us x equals y to the power of a half. If we differentiate this, now remember we normally have y equals something x, so we get dy by dx. If you differentiate this, you're going to get dx by dy instead of dy by dx. Bring the half to the front. Y, take away one from the power, and we end up then with minus a half. Um, if I was to tidy that up, you can bring that Y back down to the bottom. You get 1 over 2 times the square root of Y. I hope you can see that. All right. But we already know that Y to the power of a half equals X. So that means dx by dy, so that's our y to the power of a half, that's y to the power of a half, so our dx by dy becomes 1 over 2x. If we flip both of these now upside down, we will get dy by dx equals 2x, which we could have done on the very first line, differentiate here and you get 2x. Um, so it's just, I guess, showing us that dx by dy is the same as 1 over dy by dx, and we're going to be using that. Um, now I consider a function like y squared minus 3xy equals x squared. y is not given explicitly as a function of x. I hope that makes sense. Normally our functions up at the top is y equals something with x is in it. This is a big kind of mixture of both. This is called an implicit function. To differentiate an implicit function, we can use a chain rule, the product rule, quotient rule, or a combination of these. Find dy by dx in terms um, of x and y. So we want to differentiate everything here with respect to x. There's a wee trick to this, to be honest, and that's the easiest way to do it. We need to differentiate the y cubed. We need to differentiate, sorry, the cubed should probably be in the bracket there. Hopefully it doesn't matter. The 6x with respect to x. We want to differentiate the x squared with respect to x. Um, here is the trick i'm just going to do it nice and quickly we'll not kind of run through um too much of this but the deal is if you're differentiating this with respect to x you differentiate it as if it was an x so you would get 3y squared and you multiply it by dy by dx that will work out for you so this is going to give us 3y squared dy by dx so what's the rule if it's a y we're differentiating with respect to x you write it differentiate as normal 3y squared and then multiply by dy by dx differentiate this you're going to get plus 6 differentiate this you're going to get 2x we've been asked to find dy by dx um sorry you couldn't even see that hopefully that now makes sense differentiating this we get 3y squared divided by dx differentiate this we get 6 differentiate this and um, we get our 2x uh, getting the dy by dx in, and so I'm going to take the 6 over the other side and then divide by 3y squared. So dy by dx is 2x minus 6 all over 3y squared. And let's take a look at yeah, our next example. I think I've left us a reasonable amount of space for this. So differentiate x squared y. Uh, differentiating x squared y, again reasonably straightforward, but note here these two things are multiplied together, so we're actually going to have to use the product rule. Um, so we're going to let u equal x squared, and we're going to let v equal y. If you differentiate this, we get du by dx, which is 2x. Differentiate this, 
differentiate it as if it was an x, so it would turn into a 1 and multiply it by dy by dx. Uh, the product rule then says, what are we going to go for? u dv by dx, so it's going to be x squared dy by dx plus v du by dx, and that gives us 2x. Y, and that's pretty much what done. So that's us differentiating with respect to x, x squared y. All right, but notice it is a product, so you need to use a product rule then for that particular thing. Uh, final wee example then. Let's see how we get on. Find dy by dx in terms of x and y. This is going to be okay. It's going to be a 2x. This is going to be okay. That is a 3y squared times dy by dx. This here is a problem. It's going to be a product rule. So we'll deal with that bit separately. And then the six bits just going to disappear. So let's first of all consider d by dx of x cubed y. We're taking this wee bit out first. All right. Uh, we're going to let u equal x cubed. We're going to let v equal y. du by dx gives us 3x squared. dv by dx, do you know what it's going to be? Differentiate my y as if it was an x, so I get a 1 and times it then by dy by dx. So d by dx then of x cubed y is going to be u dv by dx which is going to give me x cubed dy by the x plus v du by the x plus 3x squared y. We're now in a position to do the whole thing. So d by the x then of x squared plus y cubed plus x, sorry, equals x cubed y plus 6, that's going to give us 2x plus 3y squared dy by dx equals this here, we've just done it up here, that's it here, x cubed dy by dx plus 3x squared y and 6 differentiated, then it's just going to disappear. So we're almost there, we're doing well. We need to get the dy by dx on its own, that's what the question says. If you look at the top, it says find dy by dx. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take this over to this side, and then I'm going to take this over to this side. So that's going to give me 3y squared dy by dx minus x cubed dy by dx equals 3 x squared y minus 2x. I'm now going to factorize out the dy by dx. dy by dx upon 3y squared minus x cubed equals 3x squared y minus 2x. And we're a line away from the end. dy by dx and to divide through. So we're going to have 3x squared y minus 2x all over 3y squared minus x cubed.